Hey guys, it's LazyGunny here, and today we're gonna to doing another PC build, but this time in our PC build, we're gonna try and include an NVIDIA GTX 1080, and we're gonna try to keep this build around $1,000, and hopefully it stays that way, because the last time I made a PC build, which included the RX 580, at the time of making that video, the cost came to around $700. But now, you would be lucky if you can even pick that PC up for $1000, and that's of course due to cryptocurrency mining. But with that being said, let's get right into it. So starting it off with the CPU, we're going with an AMD Ryzen 5 1600 processor, coming in at $210. This processor is clocked at 3.6GHz, but the sweet thing about this processor is that it can be easily overclocked to get higher clock speed than that of even the Ryzen 5 1600X out of the box stock clock. Of course that can be overclocked too, but at this price point there's nothing comparable to its excellent performance. I mean you can even check this out on the Amazon reviews for yourself, links in the description by the way. Also this processor comes with a cool Wraith cooler which means that you don't have to spend a bunch of money on aftermarket cooler and it can also make overclocking much easier. Moving on to the motherboard, and this is a tricky one since the prices are always changing, but the relatively cheap motherboard that ticks all the right boxes goes to the ASRock AB350 Pro 4. It's got 4 DDR4 RAM slots, 2 PCIe graphics card slots, so in the future you can have a SLI or Crossfire setup, and other than that, it's got a white and black color scheme going on, which is pretty neutral and doesn't stick in your face like a red or orange color scheme. And this motherboard can be picked up as for as low as $90. For the RAM, just like the motherboard, is a tricky one due to the pricing. And at the time of making this video, the Corsair Vengeance LPX 16 gigs for $135 is a steal. I'll also be sure to include alternative links to similar RAM in case the pricing goes wild. And the specifications for this variation is that it's clocked at 2400 MHz and it's perfect for gaming or editing. The reviews speak for itself, check it out. Going for the storage, I've gone with the classic and reliable Western Digital Blue 1TB. And I've used this in many builds and it's so reliable, it's never let me down, not even once. And of course you can always add or replace an SSD for just a little more dollars, so I'll be sure to include some links for SSD down below. This 1TB hard drive can be picked up from anywhere around from $46 to about $50 depending on when or where you look, links in the description. Okay now for the exciting part of the build, which is the GPU, and usually around this price point like 90% of the time, the GPU that gets featured is the GTX 1070, but we've gone a step further and included a GTX 1080, and to be specific the Gigabyte G1 GTX 1080 which only comes around at $510 at the time of making this video. It could vary, it, but hopefully it doesn't go too high, um, hopefully it does actually come down. And this price point is as low as it is because of cryptocurrency mining. And that makes this card the best price to performance card on the market right now. Okay, this card's an absolute beast. It can play and handle almost any game on 1080p, 144p and of course even 4K. Heck, it can even play Crisis on it. I mean, of course it is the 1080, I don't think much explanation is needed. What you're seeing on your screen right now is the benchmarks for this specific graphics card on many games and what you'd actually see is that it performs better than all other 1080, so it's an absolutely incredible deal. Hopefully it's still in stock um, in an Amazon and a Newegg, so be sure to check out the links in the description. Okay, the power supply now. The Corsair VS600 is unbeatable at this price point, coming in at only $49. For this price, you get an 80 plus white certified PCU, and yes, it can handle the GTX 1080 that I mentioned in this build, and everything else on this build. So those of you, don't worry, it won't destroy your graphics card, it won't burn down your house, it's absolutely fine. Last but not least, we now can move on to the case. This section is entirely up to you. Go wild, go crazy. But here's my recommendation, especially if you want to keep it under or around that $1,000 mark. The Corsair Carbide Spec 04 at $50 is an absolute steal. It looks aesthetically good and can encase all the parts mentioned in this build. 
The only downside to this case is that it only has one fan at the front, which will get the job done, but it can like heat up, especially if you live in a very hot area. So you might want to look at other options when considering this case. If you're willing to spend a couple more dollars, the Corsair Spec Alpha is the way to go. I've used it in my previous Ryzen build, and back then it was also around $50, but now it's like $70. So if you're willing to spend that much, go for it, absolutely. It's an excellent option as it has three intake fans right in front to get rid of any excess heat. And also it's very spacious, and it, it looks similar to the Spec 04, but it's a bit more premium as it's got three fans and looks a bit better in terms of aesthetics. So, I guess this is it, the sub $1000 PC build. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also be sure to give feedback on this build and what you guys think I should have included or taken out or replaced or made better. And also if anybody has any questions, let me know down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.